Peace be to all. Assalamu alaikum. Omar Abdul Malik here, uh, physician assistant, doctor of health education, moderately fit, middle aged athlete, and family man. I wanted to talk to you guys who are, are trying to become PAs or, or in PA school about the importance of your classmates and your professors. Uh, these are some of the people who you will be closest to throughout your PA soldier. You know, the, the professors that you have and as you're taking your various classes, your medical director and your, your, uh, your um, various professors and, and your classmates and even the class uh, officers. You know, you're going to become very close to these people. You're not always going to like them. <laughs> Just like, you know, family members, you know, it's, it's like an extended family. You're going to argue and, and, and fight and not always agree with them. But you're going to form a very close bond with many of them. Uh, I, I say this because uh, I just got a call recently from one of my erstwhile classmates. I call him JB. And this guy really helped me through PA school because um, we, were both, we were both married men with, with kids. And, and uh, we, were, we were going through some hard times emotionally. You know, my, um, uh, my wife and I were expecting our first child and... and um, you know, almost lost her and almost lost the child. But you know, by God's permission, um, both were fine. Our, our son is in his mid twenties now and doing well. Thank God, alhamdulillah. But um, we were rem reminiscing about you know what a struggle it was, uh, not just mentally but but physically um, and, and emotionally as well to go through the the uh, PA program because it was it was two years. It's a two year program after your undergraduate degree and it's, it's very very intense you're doing your rotations your your um your uh clinicals with third and fourth year medical students and the attendings and residents expect you to function on par with them so you, you've got to be very sharp so it's a lot of information to cram into a small sp uh time period you know even though our our training certainly isn't as doesn't have the same amount of depth or breadth um, as the uh, physicians, you know, it's not it's not even close. But you're you're still you're still expected to um, function at a very high capacity. So there's a lot of stress, you know. And sometimes people handle stress differently. Some people lash out, you know. Some people withdraw. But you know, th those classmates and those professors um, who you you go through this very fast but intense sojourn with are are um, people who you will likely never forget. You know, many of us have, uh, have grown children now, and uh, we talk about old times and reach out on Facebook. So I, I say it to say you, you want to try to conduct yourself in a way in which you, you won't have too many regrets. You know, you, you won't be remembered as, as, as uh, um, you know, uh, somebody who was very difficult to get along with. You know, try to be a team player to the best of your ability. Uh, try to carry yourself in a very professional level. Um, I'm going to talk a bit later about uh, medical eth ethics in a future video, inshallah, Lord willing, because it's important to have good ethics as a, as a student or even a pre-PA student because people are watching you. They're going to judge you by your character. You know, if your language is, is filled with, with profanity, you're going to be rem remembered for that. If you're a, a very aggressive and abrasive person, you will be remembered for that. <laughs> So it's it's time for our recommendations to go out. You know, you might not get a recommendation. You know, and, and people aren't going to want to deal with you. You know, medicine is a team. You know, the doctors are the head of that team, but you've got nurses, PAs, NPs, you know, technicians, therapists. So you've got to be able to get along with people. You know, as to the best of your ability. But um, it, it's been a great almost 25 years for me I've, I've been a PA I graduated in 1999 so I consider that was the start of my PA sojourn our, our um, Howard was unique in that we didn't have the graduate program yet so we graduated in December of 1999 but our our uh, degree says 2000 but um, it, it's it's been wonderful I've functioned in different capacities I did a previous video about that and, you, you know, you're going to make good money as, as a PA. It's, it's not much by today's standards, but you'll learn to live off of uh, between a, about 120 to $200 a 
uh, two hundred thousand dollars per year if you if you really want to hustle, but um, and and you'll get to uh, you'll get to take care of your yourself, your family, and, and your community as well. And you you can make yourself an asset, you know, a, a person with with high human capital. But that starts with having good character and, and con- conducting yourself in a very ethical and mature way. Uh, one of my my um, um, mentors, who was the past uh, medical director, and, and now he's we've developed a very, I would call a, a close friendship. Um, always stress this, and, and I stress it to my children and, and even the um, the students who I mentor. So I try to remember that it is PA week. So happy PA uh, week to you all. Uh, October sixth through October twelfth is the time to celebrate uh, the way physician assistants have have added to um, the, the, uh, the medical field and, and, and serve their communities and, and patients. So it's a great time to be a PA and I think we're gonna have an outstanding future. So I wish you guys the best of success in your positive endeavors. If you have any interest in being a physician assistant or struggling with school or a newly minted PA who would like some advice from a, from a veteran, please feel free to reach out to me and I'll help you to the best of my ability Lord willing, inshallah. Take care. Peace.